All right, friends, May 2nd, 2012. We've got a couple more stories before I uh, head out the door. A super moon and a meteor shower this weekend. Aquarid meteor shower to coincide with super moon, May 2nd, 2012, space. Now, for all you watchmen out there, Earth is entering a stream of debris from Halley's Comet, source of the annual ETA, Aquarid meteor shower. Because the shower's radiant is located below the uh, celestial equator, southern hemisphere observers are favored. But even northerners will be able to see at least a few flecks of Halley dust disintegrating in the atmosphere when the shower peaks. This weekend, the best time to look is during the hours before sunrise on Sunday, May the 6th. Bright moonlight will cap the meteor rate at about 30 per hour. In recent nights, NASA's All-Sky Meteor Network has picked up a number of early ETA aquarid fireballs. So I'm sure we're going to hear more sonic booms and get more eyewitness accounts of fireballs racing across the sky. And I find this interesting. There are no coronial holes on the Earth side of the sun. And uh, I'm no expert, so I'm wondering maybe Mr. Comet Watch or someone out there might know a lot better. They're saying there's no no uh, coronial holes on the Earth side of the sun. Look for this meteor shower and fireballs and possible sonic booms this weekend. Let me take you to one more story real quick. California residents nerves rattled by earthquake swarm in Inland Empire, May the 2nd, 2012. Los Angeles, California, an ongoing swarm of small earthquakes is rattling homes and nerves in the Inland Empire. Over the weekend, there was a handful of new quakes near Devore, uh, Idle Wild, and Indio. I hope I'm pronouncing these right. The Devore quake on Saturday morning measured 3.8. The recent earthquakes have been near the San Andreas Fault. That uh, ominous crack in the earth that threatens Southern California with the big one. The current swarm may seem like a lot of quakes, but that's not necessarily the case. UC Riverside professor and earthquake earthquake expert uh, Gareth Funning crunched the numbers for April 2012 compared to the same time last year. There were 200 more events of all earthquake sizes a year ago than there were this year. Funning said the last major rupture of the San Andreas Fault happened about 330 years ago near Fort Tijon, north of Los Angeles, seismologist say we're overdue for another one. It's a one in two chance in the next 30 years that this earthquake will happen. Funding said, but uh, pressure on the San Andreas Fault will not, will not, as rumor has it, cause California to fall into the ocean. Or anyone to have a dream of it falling into the ocean. Funding said, it's causing the mountains to rise and causing California to rise out of the sea. Funding said, as for the all recent quakes in the Inland Empire, he calls them purely random. All right, there you have it for May the 2nd, 2012. Leave me comments.